the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Uh, in the previous uh, episodes, we managed to get a hold of, of uh, Dr. Morden Solis, and um, we cured the plague that uh, was um, crippling um, Omega. And now we're back on the Normandy, and as you can see, the good doctor is very useful already. But um, I just want to have a little chat with um, with everybody just before we, we continue on with uh, any other missions or anything else. Also, uh, what you didn't see here, but I did see uh, before uh, before ending the, the actual recording last time, was that uh, we got a few new entries in the journal, and um, we're going to go through them, and I believe uh, one of them, at least, is from the um, DLC which I told you uh, I had some issues with and now um, I added the, all the DLCs basically except for uh, Arrival and uh, Lair of the Shadow Broker which I will add of course later on but let's have a chat here let's see what Edie has to say what's this area? Oh, okay this same thing the FTA. in addition got it. this allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid that's all for now Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, talk to Dr. Solis, uh, Dr. Morden. Uh, what is it? What is this? Weapons locker. Huh, the weapons locker, just give me a second here. Okay, this is the area where you sh you choose the loadout for the... F okay, so we can uh, we can choose Morden's uh, loadout. Sure, you can machine, machine pistol and M6 Carnifex hand cannon. Yeah, that sounds about right. I still need to get the hang of things around here. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Gotcha, Kelly. Okay. Um, I'd like to go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, Morden. Shepard, how can I help? I just want to talk to you. Uh, I want to talk about you. Okay, let's talk about you. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with budget. <laughs> AI in particular. Very cool. helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Have you heard from your assistant Daniel? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, 
High risk. Served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage. Took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Whoa, you studied under Kirihi? I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. <laughs> Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> None taken, my friend. None taken. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. Prepared how? What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. Mm -hmm. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take your word for it right now. Although I have my doubts that there's nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Wow. Okay. Cool. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Gotcha, Morden. Nice. Okay, so we have the lab open right now. Can we do anything around here? Okay. Um, what is this? What's this area oh. of the ship? This is the Normandy's technical lab, where you can investigate new research upgrades that will improve ship or team performance. Gotcha. All upgrades can be developed in the Normandy's lab, provided you have acquired the necessary resources. You can find these resources by scanning planets or searching while on missions. Okay, let's see what we have here. Research terminal, investigate. Okay, so, research new upgrades to dramatically improve the power of your squad members, weapons and ship. Discover research projects by acquiring new upgrades. For example, if you find an assault rifle upgrade, your scientists can, dis can study it and they may discover a research project to further improve assault rifles. When you purchase a research project, you must pay the specified amount of rare resources. If if you then gain the upgrade described in the research project and the upgrade moves um, oh sorry you then gain the upgrade descri described in the research project and the upgrade moves to the upgrade section of the research terminal okay okay that's it's a little bit confusing right now we have ship enhancements as well. Whoa, the Normandy represents the cutting edge of Cerberus fleet technology, but further improvements are possible and could assist you in succeeding in missions. Discover possible enhancements by talking to your crew? Hello. Okay, we gotta do that. Weapon upgrades. Weapon upgrades are modular techno uh, technological improvements integrated into any, any weapon. When a weapon upgrade is obtained, it's automatically integrated into the weapon into the appropriate weapon. Obtain weapon upgrades in stores and by scanning items on missions. Here we go, and we have assault rifle damage. One out of five, is it? So squad bonus plus 10% assault rifle damage upgrades assault rifles, battle rifles and machine guns for your entire squad. This upgrade strengthens a weapon's mass effect field generator increasing the velocity of each, each slug fired. Iridium required uh, 2500 and we have 9000. Okay. Armor upgrades. Here we go. An armor upgrade is a modular technology that can be added to your armor to improve its defensive, protective, or medical capabilities. When you obtain a new armor upgrade, they will it will automatically be integrated into your entire squad's armor. Purchase new armor upgrades from stores on hub worlds or discover the technology to build new armor upgrades by scanning items on missions. And then prototypes. 
Although prototype technology is advanced and powerful, it is also extremely expensive to produce and often unstable when used. Thanks to Cerberus's advanced tech science facilities and the genius of Dr. Morden Solis, you have one of the few facilities in the world capable of produ producing these technologies. Each technology you produce will be powerful, but will upgrade only a single, a single member of your squad. Okay. Discover prototype technologies by scanning advanced technology on missions and discussing research with your squad members. So what we have here heavy weapon ammo 30% more heavy weapon ammo capacity missile launcher rapid fire missile launcher with seeking projectiles effective against armor shields and biotic barriers and what is this requires one more heavy weapon ammo upgrade to unlock requires six more uh, 6,000 more ir iridium to research the m622 avalanche Okay, I'm not gonna touch these ones yet, but I might go ahead and do the armor upgrades. So, Medigel capacity increased by 1. Platinum required 2,500. Yeah, let's go for that. Review the upgrades at your personal terminal. Okay, got it. Um, upgrades and reach. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, so this is where we get uh, to see our actual upgrades. Cool. Hack module doubles the time limit for hack. Didn't even see this one, I think. Cool. Nice. Um, what you thinking about there, Morden? <laughs> I think he's talking to himself. Okay, let's uh, continue here. <clears throat> Can we have a chat? Let's see. Let's go to my cabin. No, cr cruise quarters. Let's go here first. Let's have a chat with everybody and see how they feel after the first mission, because it's good to it's good to catch up. Let's have a chat with. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my nope, family not here. back to Sorry. Earth. Sorry. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport. Sorry, uh... Access yes. to life support is restricted. Okay, 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 got it. Let's, uh, let's have a little chat with, uh, Miranda here. See how she feels about everything. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation. Of course before. you are. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally Thank you. well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. <sighs> okay. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it Shut that up. way. Cerberus gave you a second I knew she was going to see that. Damn it. So. Maybe you should do the same for us. Um. Okay, I'm not going to go there. Has your not loyalty. yet. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created what? me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Pro what? You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you yeah. need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investment. Who is your father? I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included, but unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Um... Okay... Who's your father? Who exactly <laughs> is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. 
You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Okay. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Hmm. Okay, okay. What about your mother? You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. You talk about yourself like you're just okay. a tool Maybe. to be you. I like you to are who you are, Maria. That's easy for you to... The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk well, to you later. Well, that's, um... Uh, some Amanda. interesting piece of information we've heard, we've learned about Miranda. Interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to that guy because uh, I'm not gonna take to talk to Gardner because I don't have his um, <laughs> list of things that he wanted me to. But I have something for you here. How may I help? Hey, you, Dr. Chakwas. I have a present for you, Doc. <laughs> Sarah's ice brandy. I sure <laughs> did. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You know what? Why not? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic Syndrome. Mm -hmm. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Yeah, I understand. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. <laughs> or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. <laughs> or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? <laughs> maybe it's all of it. Maybe it's all of it. Here's to simply being happily drunk. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> I think it's all of it, Dr. Chakwas. Nice. Nice, I like it. Okay, that's that's super cool. Um, I don't know where Dr. Ch... Okay. Oh, she's sleeping. Okay. Hope we didn't get her too drunk. What is... The oh, ED. Okay. Cool. Um, let's. Whoa. I think we're a little bit. Got it. I think we were just a little bit drunk there. Just a little bit. Uh, can we have a chat with anybody else? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a chat with our uh, with our two guys here, Daniels and Donald. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy? <laughs> I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the Ouch. Breeze. I don't know. 
Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. <laughs> You're such a dog. <laughs> you dog. <laughs> You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. Don't worry day. about it. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillian Five poker. Want to join us? Uh, yeah. Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys. Hells like that. yeah. Actually, that sounds Come interesting. Come on, let's do it. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. Yeah, go easy on the new guy. My Skellian Five's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? <laughs> of course, Commander. <laughs> it's all friendly. Yeah, right. You've won 5,000 credits. <laughs> 5,500 credits. Okay, okay. Be gentle on the rookie. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. <laughs> Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> Sorry, Donnelly. You'll get me next time. What can we do for you, Commander? Um, uh, nothing so far. Okay. Carry on. Well, do come Okay, on. guys. It's been good talking to you. Um, I think we need to let's see if we can get a hold of uh, Jacob and have a little chat with him. Is it? Is he? He was in here, right? Is he? Wasn't he? No. Okay, never mind. What the heck? Uh, bu -bu -bum. Where the heck is Jacob? I totally forgot where he is. It's gonna it's gonna take a little while to to get used to the whole thing. Captain's cabin. Combat information center. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, team members Jacob Taylor. Okay, gotcha now. Okay, let's do this. Um, but where is Jacob? See this way. He should be. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Okay. Hey, Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? Oh, wait a sec. Ooh, on Normandy upgrades. Okay, okay. Let's let's go like this. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't. We're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? Uh, what, what do you think about the crew? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Uh, yeah. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deed's like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Okay. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things <laughs> done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes I to hell. I know. Hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? Uh... You don't need to be so formal, yeah. I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What was your proudest career moment? Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm yep, here. You're right, okay. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here and I you am. You don't mind their methods? You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. Okay. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. 
Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? Um... I don't think I need any upgrades. I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts, <laughs> you know. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. <laughs> There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed Good. up for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Thanks, Jacob. But I might have just one more question for you. Commander. Can we talk listened? about the Normandy upgrades? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy. But you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 already. Nice. Wait a second. Ship enhancements already. Review. Heavy ship armor. Okay, so uh, we need 15,000 palladium. Okay. Uh, requires 8,000 palladium. Normandy armor upgrade. The Asari made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's structure. This will help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Damn. Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep track of uh, all the upgrades. Let me know when you want that, Commander. All the we'll sorry, all later. the all the resources Commander. that we have. Okay. Well, guys, I think I'm going to. Just go ahead and uh, head on to Miranda for a second. Uh, cruise quarters like this. And I think if we have the option, I'd like to talk to her about... Uh, not there. About the mission a little bit and get her opinion on everything. Maybe maybe she has some something more to say. Commander, what can I do for you? Here we go. Normandy upgrades again, huh? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take few. a look. Ship enhancements, review, advanced mineral scanner. Six more iridium to research. The android group's proprietary Argus planet scan technology has been integrated into the ship's systems. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Cool. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. Uh, yeah, okay, that's about it. I'll let you work. Of course, cool. Commander. Okay, let's have a little look at the journal, maybe, or or just look at our... Um, just give me a second, I want to go to our cabin, just for a second. And... Let's just look at our armor here. Whoa! Okay. Oh, we have a Cerberus Assault Armor. It's designed for shock troops who are expected to turn the tide of battle against creatures or forces that would decimate normal soldiers. The troops demand demanded three things in, this, in its design. Shields and armor thick enough to last against a superior foe and a rechargeable pack to extend the heavy weapon power cell. The only drawback of the armor is its weight which the troops carry as a point of pride. They have a saying, out of shape going in, in shape coming out. Gotcha. Okay, I think I'm going to remove the helmet. Oh, we have this now. What is this? Kuwashi Visor, developed by Ariaki Technologies. The wear exchanges full protective coverage for visibility, uh, unencumbered mobility, and increased accuracy. Increases headshot damage by 10%. You know what? I'm going to put this... I'm hoping that it increases our headshot damage by 10%. By 10 I think I'm going to leave this one on, hoping that I can actually hit the head of the enemies. Oh, and we have this now. Reduces the delay before your shields start regenerating by 10%. Yes, please. Shoulders nothing but legs. Uh, N7 graves or stimulator conduits. Hello. Increases storm speed by 10%. What is storm speed exactly? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to leave this one in, though, like this. 
material. Ah, material. Okay, that's interesting. And then maybe... Maybe go with something, whoa, like this. And like this, maybe, why not? Like this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Yeah. Okay, apply. 